the days and the night of Bibi Fatima alayhi salam. It's important we learn a lesson or two from the life of this great personality. Lesson or two. Because no doubt, Sayyidah alayhi salam is everything that we have as lovers and followers of Ahl al And Sayyida, as you know, she has so many titles given to her either by Rasulullah or by scholars. And there is one fascinating title which I want us to look at. Then we're done. That is the title of Ummu Abiyah. She has so many titles, Az-Zakiya, Zakiya, Ar-Radiya, Mardiya, you name them. And I always tell people, you know, these titles are not just there for the sake of being there. They've got meanings, they've got lessons, they are oceans. They carry important message for the lovers and followers of Ahl al-Bayt. Now, Ummu Abiha. What does it mean? Literally, you'll translate in Arabic, the mother of her father. As simple as that. But no, that's not there. It indicates to three important relationships. Three relations between the Holy Prophet and Sayyidah alayhi The first relation, this name indicates is emotional relationship. Alaka Atifiyah. Between the Holy Prophet and Sayyidah Fatima. And you know the highest form of relationship is emotional relationship. I always tell people, people come to me, they said, Sheikh, I find it very difficult to wake up for tahajjud. This example. So the question I ask people, he said, do you believe in tahajjud? He said, yes, I believe in it. But why you don't wake up? Ah, I don't know, maybe tiredness, maybe work. I said, no, because you are not emotionally connected with it. Whenever you are emotionally connected with something, irrespective of the pain and difficulties, you will attend to it. <laughs> emotional connection is crucial. And I always mention women are good at that. You know, women, when they are in relation, they are highly emotionally connected. To a certain extent, sometimes, na'udhu billah, when there is talaq, divorce, a woman will look at the husband and say, look, I may, I'm going out of this, but I will never forget you in my life. That's emotional connection. Anyway, Rasulullah said, Fatima to Ummu Abiha is trying to say there is an emotional connection between me and Fatima alayhi salam emotionally connected with Fatima and there are traces of this emotional connection in the traditions of Ahlul Bayt and the traditions even reported from some of the wives of Prophet when discussing the relation between Rasulullah and Fatima for instance Aisha reported that I've not seen anyone who truly resembled Rasulullah than Fatima so in fact, the way she would, when you would see her standing, you would say Rasulullah standing. When you would see her sitting, you would say Rasulullah is sitting. Certain extent, she said, whenever he would see her coming, he would stood up. And then he would make sure you go to her and he would held her. He would brought her and make sure she sat where he was sitting. This emotional connection. So when he said, Ummu Abiha, he's trying to say, I am emotionally connected. With Fatima alayhi salatu was salam. And of course, you all know Rasulullah did not know the love of parents. You know very well. He lost his mom and he lost his father. Beginning father, then mom. Scholars mention Fatima alayhi salam replaced that. She replaced that. To a certain extent, in that tradition, when Aisha saw Rasulullah kissing Fatima alayhi salam, said, why are you kissing her like this? She's a lady. So Allah said, no. When I was taken to my journey of Mi'raj, I was given food from Jannah, isn't it? Took that food when I came back. I had my time with my wife Khadija, and this is Fatima to Zahra. 
Now the question is, what lesson do I and you learn? Food. Food makes a person. Lawful food makes a good person. Hence, Quran mentioned, فَلْيَنْزُلِ الْإِنسَانِ إِلَى طَعْمِ As you go about your work, try as much as you can to earn lawfully, wallahi. Yes, it's emotional connection. We learn that, but at the same time, we learn also food because there is a relationship between the soul and the body. When the soul is in trouble, body is in trouble. When the body is in trouble, soul is in trouble. And where does the soul get its nourishment? Food. Where does the body get its nourishment? Food. Be careful, especially young ones. You go out about your works, about your businesses. Pain lawfully. Don't evade tax. Don't rig tax. Do genuine work. And Allah would put barakah. Because there's a big discussion about the nash'a of Bibi Fatima. When they discuss about the nash'a, the bringing up of Bibi Fatima, salam, they said one of the most important factor of a nash'a is that the food was lawful food. Not just a lawful food, it is from Jannat al so that is number one. The second relationship that this rewire is highlighting Fatima Ummu Abiha. They call it Alaka Nuriya. It's the relationship of a light. Which light? Fatima alayhi salam. She joined two lights together. The light of Nubuwa and the light of Imama. Rasulullah, Nubuwa. Amir al-Mu'mineen, Imama. Fatima alayhi salam brought them together. So Rasulullah said, Ummu Abiha, meaning I've got this relationship of like illuminate, illuminous relationship, whereby her light joined my light to the light of Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam. And last but not least, when Rasulullah said, Fatima is the mother of her father, it simply means my name remain and it will remain because of Fatima Zahra. How? How? You know, every single person's existence, your existence, my existence has two sources. Master al-Huduth and Master al-Baqa. Every existence. Master al-Huduth is your mom and your dad. That's it. But what will make your name remain? It could be your money. It could be your knowledge. It could be your children. When you die, your name has to remain. It could be good name. It could be bad name. Now Rasulullah's name remain because of Fatima to Zahra. And Allah bless Fatima to Zahra with all our imams. And through the imams, the name of Rasulullah is chanted all over the world today.